So hi everyone, my new book Lanchin in your pocket beginner's guide to building Gen AI applications using LLMs is out now on Amazon. The book is already a bestseller. As you can see, it is trending on hash three on Amazon bestsellers. So go get, grab your copies and find the link in the description below. Thank you. So hi everyone. Today we will be talking about one of the most talked topic right now in generative AI space that is one bit LLMs. The paper came out recently and it has caught fire. So the paper name is the era of one bit LLMs and I will be just trying to summarize that. I will tell you what are one bit LLMs and the new architecture that you might be coming uh, seeing soon that is bitnet b1.58. So let's get started. So before we jump on to what are one bit LLMs, we need to understand the core of how weights are getting stored in any machine learning model, be it LLMs or logistic regression. So if you know uh, the weight, the value of the weights uh, gets stored as a either as a 32 bit floating point or a 16 bit floating point. Generally, I'm talking about a general note. Now, if you know the hierarchy, one uh, eight bits equals to one byte, all this stuff. So eventually you might be consuming two to four bytes to store one weight value. Now, this is the major cause because uh, that is why the models like GPT are not available. You can't use it into your local system, even if uh, like Llama 70 million model is uh, free to use. You can't just load it because the hardware requirements are so high. This is because the number of parameters is humongous and each parameter is using a huge memory space to get stored. So basically, if you assume that you have assumed that you take up a mock LLM, uh, I'm calling it Mehul GPT for now, which has 7 billion parameters, right? Like similar to Mistral and Llama 7 billion which uses a 32 bit precision that is four bytes. Now le let me demonstrate how would it acquire the memory, how much memory it will require. So size of one byte where one weight equals to four bytes into seven billion as there are seven billion parameters that would uh, lead to nearly 26.09 GB of the memory. Now in a general system, you find that and hence most of the guys are using APIs because loading such a huge model in memory is a big, big task. And as people want to use LLM, want, the companies want to move LLMs to mobile phones also. So it becomes a really hard challenge how to uh, make these LLMs live on mobile devices. So here comes the concept of one bit LLMs. So instead, uh, in a, as we are using 16 bit or 32 bit floating points for storing weights, the one bit LLM uses just one bit. That is one upon eight, that is 0 0.125 bytes to store weight parameters. So eventually, if you know one bit can hold just two values, zero or one. Hence, it reduces the total size of any LLM drastically. So let's again take an example of the same variant, like assume that we have a one bit variant of Mehul GPT. So this time, the size of one bit equals to 0.125 bytes because it is acquiring just one bit to store, right? into 7 billion parameters leading to 0.815 GB. So in our first case, where we were using 32 bits for storing one weight. It was taking 26 GB. Now it is taking around 0.8 GB. So it is a huge drastic reduction in the size. Now, uh, if you know about quantization, so uh, talking about the concept of one bit LLM is quite similar to quantization, but not exactly that. So I first need to explain you what is quantization. So it is a method of reducing the model size by decreasing the precision of it. So like for example, here you can see that from 32 bits, we might start using eight bits, hence reducing the size by four times. Uh, one bit LLMs are also trying to follow the same ideology, but they are not con they are not reducing the precision. They are just making it fixed to zero one. That's it. That's the difference. So if you go with quantization, if a weight value was earlier 2.3456706, so you're storing it like that it might get reduced to 2.3456. You are reducing the precision in case of quantization. But in case of one bit LLM, uh, you are fixing the value to zero or one, just two possible values. There are certain major architectural changes that has done, that are being done in the one bit LLM models so that they don't take a big hit from compared to the traditional LLMs because what you are doing eventually, this is loss of information that is happening. If you like, in case of quantization, if you are storing this, but the value of a weight is this, and eventually you are storing only this to reduce the model size, there is some loss of information. In case of one bit LLM, if you are completely using just zero and one, there will be huge loss of information and performance may not match. But according to the paper, uh, the model that they're introducing that is bitnet b1.58 
right now it is using 1.58 bits that means it is using three values right now minus one zero and one so it can't be taken as exactly as a one bit llm because one bit llm uses a zero and one but here in this case it would be using minus one zero or one right so but it is a variant of one bit llm that can be considered so here you can see that how one bit llm would look different from the traditional LM. So as in the paper, they have claimed that bitnet 1.58, as you, I just showed you, which has three, which can possibly store three values only compared to a 16 floating point precision LLM. 16, that means it is using 16 bits to store the weights. So here you can see that the change, how the weight matrix will change. This is taken from the paper itself. So in case of a traditional LLM model, which is having a precision of 16 floating points, here you can see that the values, weight values might look something like this. But in case of a one point, in case of bitnet that we are talking about, that the first variant that has come up, the weight the weight matrix would look something like this. And once you multiply from the input, I think you must be knowing how the final value comes up. You have weights, you have input, you multiply them. So multiplication and then addition happens. This is something related to matrix multiplication. If you go logically, you will understand it that you will first multiplying this row with this column with this row, with this column, and then eventually adding up. So there are two operations involved, multiplication, then addition. But in this case, as values are 0, 1, minus 1, there is no requirement of multiplication also. Only the signs would be changing. Just try to take, uh, like try to experiment taking pen and paper and you will get it. That there is no actual multiplication that is required. So you are skipping upon multiplication as well. Now talking about the paper, summarizing it, uh, bitnet B1.58 model that would be coming out, which is not public yet matches the performance of a 16-bit floating point LLM, which is based on transformers. So this is pretty good in terms of perplexity and end task performance. It provides faster processing speeds. The model minimizes multiplication option as I operation, as I already told you how it is not using multiplication. It includes quantization functions also, something like RMS norm and swing glue. The model hasn't been made public right now, as I already told you, and hasn't been tested by the general flow folks. But as the discussions are happening, as I was reading on the different online platform, this can be a game changer because now LLMs would be available on your mobile phones. You don't require an API to test out any models. And eventually, a lot of things might change because of coming of one bit LLMs. Thank you.